The Honourable Member for Calgary Klein has a question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, for many Albertans, the 2013 flood feels like just yesterday. I personally remember racing to the youth shelters I was managing to assist in the, in the evacuation and the significant damage to the shelter afterwards. My constituents have been asking about uh, the current status of flood mitigation. However, we know that we need the best possible information to plan for this. As we head into the June flood season, can the Minister shed some light on flood mapping progress? The second tallest member of the Legislative Assembly and the Honourable Member for uh, Minister for Environment and Parks. Well, well, Mr. Speaker, I just want to start off by reminding everybody that that Honourable Member has been following me around since 1982 when my mom brought him home and now he's followed me all the way here to Edmonton. <laughs> but I'd like to answer his question. We understand our communities want the best possible information. I would just remind the member that comments should be directed through the Speaker. <laughs> We understand our communities want the best possible information on flood hazards to guide future development and help inform municipal emergency response plans. We recognize it's important to have the latest information and are working to update and expand flood mitigation coverage across Alberta. In the short term, technical work has been done on five new flood studies that we are ready to release and be able to share with municipalities, including Calgary. The Honourable Member for Calgary Klein. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think that the, uh, the Honourable Minister is just a little jealous because I was always the favourite. <laughs> I might just remind members there's no preambles after question four. <laughs> Given, sorry. Given that the risks of flooding creates a lot of stress for Albertans, and given that flooding can cause damage to property, hardship to people, and in extreme circumstances, loss of life. And given these facts, what is the government doing to improve flood mapping procedures in this province? The Minister of Environment Parks. Flood studies are critical tools that provide information that support emergency responses and safer communities across Alberta. 21 new flood studies have been commissioned since 2015, including eight studies this upcoming spring. These new studies will create 1,500 kilometres of new flood mapping through more than 60 municipalities and First Nation communities across Alberta, with a total budget of $15.4 million, which includes approximately $5.2 million of federal funding. And Mr. Speaker, I assure you, I am my mother's favourite. <laughs> The Honourable Member. Thank you, Minister, for the answer. Mr. Speaker, given that we have seen no status update on flood mapping from the previous government, and given the significance of flood mapping in for, for future planning, when the constituents of Calgary Klein ask about timelines around flood, ma flood mapping projects, what can I tell them? The Minister. Mr. Speaker, depending on the complexity and the length of the river system, it can take upwards of five years to complete the technical work of a flood study and another year to fully implement the recommendations made by the study. Uh, and as I've previously stated, we've completed technical work on five new flood studies. We are in a position to share immediately with communities and for our First Nation partners, including the Honourable Member's hometown of Calgary. And Mr. Speaker, I feel in, cl in closing, I should say, on behalf of the Honourable Member's five brothers, it's always great to hear from the shortest Nixon. <laughs>